You know, there's a, it's a mixed bag about the role of testosterone in prostate cancer. Um, I, I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about um, some of the theories on safety of uh, testosterone in prostate cancer. Uh, and, and does it have any issue with uh, causing the PSA to increase in some patients or others? Sure. Yeah. So I think, you know, a lot of this comes from the idea that, you know, as, as some men know, in advanced prostate cancer, we treat prostate cancer by, by hormone therapy in some cases, which the idea behind that is to drop testosterone levels down to a castrate level, meaning we're trying to just completely cut down testosterone. And so then the logical question follows, well, if I've got a history of prostate cancer and you treat prostate cancer by dropping testosterone, does giving me back testosterone you know, do anything. And, you know, the way that I, that I answer that question is, well, all men have testosterone. And so in general, what we try to do is restore normal physiologic levels of testosterone. And in general, that has been shown to be safe in men with a history of treated prostate cancer without an increased risk for um, progression or recurrence. Um, however, we do sometimes see an increase in the PSA with testosterone levels that will then come down if we back off on testosterone doses. That doesn't necessarily correspond to an increased risk of prostate cancer or recurrence of prostate cancer, but it's simply a, a lab, um, you know, a, an increase in the PSA as we're detecting in the lab. Um, with that said, for very, very high risk prostate cancers or prostate cancer that are actively being treated, I don't recommend uh, testosterone replacement at that time, but it's something that can be pursued down the road once the cancer has been adequately treated. I don't know if you've uh, had different experience or opinion about that, but it's a, it is a topic of uh, some controversy in a lot of ways. It, it is controversial. And um, I have to say that uh, I would recommend a lot of people, if you have a moment, um, uh, we started a podcast series called On Call for Men's Health. And one of my interviewees is Dr. Anani Estiokino, and he has uh, just published a landmark article on the role of testosterone and men's health. And uh, he and I both agree about one thing in particular is that uh, men who have low testosterone are likely to increase risk for prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that all men should be aware of their testosterone levels starting as young adult males and should be monitored. And uh, if you have a low testosterone, you might wanna be watched a little bit more closely for the subsequent risk of getting prostate cancer. The question that we don't are, are unable to answer at this point is if you normalize their testosterone, will you reduce the risk back to baseline? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Uh, don't know that one. And so uh, that I hope answers uh, the question for one of the individuals. Another question that did come up was about uh, being on hormone therapy for prostate cancer. And I can easily answer this one. Um, the question is, is that I'm currently on hormone therapy and after prostate, prostate removal, but my PSA keeps popping up. What can be recommended? Well, if your PSA is going up uh, uh, every time you stop hormone therapy, uh, that is of significant concern. Uh, and number two is if it's popping up while on hormone therapy, it's even uh, more of a concern. And um, you should have a discussion about uh, the fact that you may be becoming hormone resistant, which does occur in, in a number of men who are on long-term hormone therapy. And you might need uh, other types of additional therapy to keep your PSA and or prostate cancer in check. And they might want to do a PSMA scan to determine the status of your disease. So those would be two very worthwhile things to have as a discussion uh, with your treating physician.